Hey everybody, Jeff Marr from STEM School Highlands Ranch and joining me is 6th grader Anna Rude Rao, 11 years old and the recent winner of the Paradigm World Challenge. Congratulations on that. Thank you. Yeah, and thank you for joining us with this interview to talk about the gadget that you came up with. And just to give you some background on what he came up with, this right here is Revere, is what it's called. And it basically is an early tornado detection system. So it's gonna warn people if there is a tornado that is forming, correct? Yeah. So let's talk about this gadget, how you came up with it, and then we're gonna talk a little bit about the Paradigm World Challenge and how that went. But what is Revere? What does it do? So I usually and generally look at problems that are going to get worse due to climate change. One such problem is tornadoes. Uh, the tornado alley is moving and expanding, which is a big problem. Mm -hmm. I also like to enhance different devices to make it work for the future. So. I used devices such as Doppler radar and enhanced it for the better. So when I started my research, I learned about something called infrasound, which is a sound made by tornadoes in their early stages. So technically, I combined infrasound, other environmental sensors, and drones to create a device that could detect tornadoes. M my device could increase the warning time for about 13 minutes to 40 minutes, which could save lives. Mm -hmm. Wow, and did you know that over the summer we had a tornado event here at STEM? A tornado actually hit our school. Now fortunately, everybody was fine and it happened during the summer, so we lost just about half a dozen trees, maybe a little more. So there was a little bit of damage, but I was there that day and I saw the weather forming and I fortunately got out of here just because I was trying to avoid hail. I had no idea a tornado was gonna hit STEM. I'm, I'm curious if, if Revere was up in the air and it was somehow tied to an alert system text on my phone, is there a good chance that I would have known that a tornado was likely forming above STEM? Revere could have warned you because if any data of tornadoes is detected, Revere would send an um, email or even a phone call to the emergency services, which then they do everything. They, like, like how we have an Amber Alert, mm -hmm. they will just put it on your phone or they will put the noise sirens. They will do a lot of different things. Um, so if you contact the emergency services, uh, they could have found out there was a tornado. So Revere is a detection system, um, which also works as a contacting system. So there would be a great chance that they would have detected. Wow. And how long have you been developing Revere? Has this been years in the making? So I started Revere in 20. 17, okay. when USPDO members came to our school, this STEM school, High Ranch Ranch, uh, in kindergarten, some USPDO members came to our school, which was really cool, yeah. and they asked us to come up with an idea. So I came up with an idea because I was see. So I moved from Nashville before, mm -hmm. and I saw that people's homes were getting destroyed in Nashville, and it was a big problem. So I thought of a solution that could detect tornadoes. First, I thought of a way to like uh, stop tornadoes completely, but that's really unethical. So I thought of, a, I turned my attention to like the bigger problem, mm -hmm. which was the lack of sufficient warning time. Right. And I decided to make a device at that time, which I called Boreas Sensor, which would, where drones would fly and detect infrasound using different sensors and then come back and send the message to the base station. It was, it was just like a normal day small thing that I thought I would never work on ever in my life. Mm -hmm. 
Until a few days later, a USPDO member came to our school again and gave us some feedback. And he gave me great feedback, like how will the drones charge, who will power the drones, how will they send the message to the base station, how will the base station, if there's a tornado, send a message to the emergency services. So um, that's what I thought. And afterwards, I kept improving it and mm. to make it what it is now. So let me ask you this, because when you put this up in the air, as inclement weather is forming, is there a risk that the weather could take down the drone before the data is collected to issue out the, the warning? So could the drone be destroyed before the data is sent out? So one thing is that infrasound can be detected from about 60 miles away. So they wouldn't really get affected by the wind. It will be a small amount of wind, there will be it, mm -hmm. but it won't be that much to destroy it. And the drone can go, uh, I hope to use AI models, yeah. so the drone can technically uh, go to a safer place and send the data to the base station. Okay. Now, because you were a finalist for this Paradigm World Challenge, you were given a trip to Los Angeles. You got to go to Disneyland, right? Yeah. And there was a red carpet event. and then you got to pitch your idea, right? Yeah. So how did that event go? Did you have a lot of fun? I had a lot of fun. I loved going to Disneyland. There's a lot of cool rides there, and there was a lot of new devices that I saw, a lot of new faces, which were really cool. Um, and these devices could actually help people, no mm. matter who wins. Uh, I saw people who were actually drawing on um, making murals on walls to save salmons in their area. So it was very inspiring to see many projects. And I loved walking across the red carpet and mm. saying my speech in front of about 90 people. Yeah. So it was a very fun and cool experience. And how does it feel to be the winner of this event? And now as part of the grand prize, you are given some funding for legal fees for a patent process for Revere. How does that feel? It feels really good and really exciting. I'm excited to use that money to do better for everyone and our nation um, because that's what it's about not just getting money for a prize, it's about helping people, which is right. the bigger deal. And I also want my project to get patented because my device could be enhanced for wildfires, mm -hmm. animal trackings, earthquakes, and much more. Oh, and we just saw awful fires break out in Hawaii. Yeah. And you just wonder if some sort of technological advancement like this could eventually in the future help warn residents to get out in time because that has proven to be one of the deadliest wildfires in, in Hawaii's history for sure. Uh, so it's great to see uh, developments like this happening here at, at STEM and, and being put on the global stage uh, to help with all sorts of problems because that's what we're all about is problem-based learning. That's what we learn in the classroom. And I have to say that it kind of runs in the family for you, right? Yeah. Your older sister is Gatanjali, yeah. who time kid of the year, and she came up with her own inventions, and now she's in college. Uh, and she's going to continue doing that type of work. So is that kind of, does the inspiration for this kind of stuff start at home? It starts at home, but it starts in a lot of different places. So sometimes in school, at home, I saw my sister doing a lot of cool stuff. In schools, I saw some really cool experts coming and showing us a lot of cool stuff. So I was also inspired to create an idea to help people. So a lot of different places, like people in the museums, they, was, they showed us a lot of different stuff. Many different places helped my idea get further and further on. Now, you're probably thinking of how you can advance this even further in the future. Do you think multiple drones, multiple reveres being sent up in the sky at once 
could be even more effective at, at, at kind of zeroing in on where the tornado is going to form? So, um, Revere technically has five drones, which, mm -hmm. uh, which is a set of drones, okay. um, which uh, uh, is a reasonable price for many communities. Um, I think that we can add a few more drones so on all directions they can find the exact place. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's great. And so where does the process go from here? Because you, you won the grand prize, you're going to get funding to help move the patent process forward on this. In the meantime, what are you going to do with Revere? I'm going to improve it. I'm going to add new sensors, new items. I'm going to improve the quality of my drone. I reached out to Boulder stations and I hope I could field test in designated areas mm -hmm. and use what they uh, have found already to add to my device. Okay. And last question for you, because I'm sure a lot of people are wondering what's in store for your future down the road. So does something like this, is it, is it something you want to turn into a profession? Like, like maybe later down, do you want to continue being an inventor and coming up with ideas to help the world? I would love to continue being an inventor. I would love to make it a bigger device and make it into a career. I also am making a carbon monoxide detector and neutralizer, which I worked on in March. And I also yeah. applied for another contest where I got third place in. So I, uh, I'm doing two devices at a time, yeah. which I think they can both help a lot of people. And I'm very excited for the future on. I love the name Revere too, <laughs> named after Paul Revere. Yeah. Uh, that's really cool. So Anaru, thank you so much for talking to us about thank this. Uh, we would love to continue checking in with you as you come up with more innovations uh, to come out of the classroom or otherwise. And congratulations on, on winning the Paradigm World Challenge. Thank you so much. Yeah. So be sure to subscribe to STEM Social Media for more content like this. And we'll see you next time.